Welcome back to another journey into some of those creepy caves of crazy that still remain a mystery today. If you're new around these parts, don't forget to bludgeon the subscribe button to join our ooky kooky spooky squad. This is the top five terrifying real life mysteries that will keep you up all night. Number five, the Circleville Letters. Coming in at number five is a mystery that'll make you question who's watching you, the Circleville Letters. In the 1970s, residents of Circleville, Ohio, were terrorized by a series of anonymous, threatening letters. These letters didn't just contain idle threats. They exposed the recipient's deepest secrets, from extramarital affairs to hidden pasts. Imagine receiving a letter that not only threatens you, but also reveals secrets you thought were buried forever. The Circleville Letters writer seemed to have an uncanny knowledge of the townspeople's private lives, leading to suspicion and paranoia. Was it a disgruntled neighbor, a scorned lover, or something even more sinister? Driving around Circleville today would be much like driving around Round Town in the late 1970s. Nothing changes much. In fact, the population continues to go down. There would be one major change, though. Back then, there were the letters, the Circleville letters. And a lot of it was uh, vindictive in tone. I mean, nasty in tone. Uh, there was sexually oriented material or accusations uh, of vulgar is the only way you know to really describe them. The letters were often threatening missives sent to people in Pickaway County. We're not talking about a couple or hundreds, but thousands of letters. They all had the same block lettering and they would target politicians and leaders, but also just plain folks who had nothing to do with the running of Circleville at all. Next up at number four is the chilling case of the Sodder children. On Christmas Eve in 1945, a fire destroyed the Sodder family's home in West Virginia. Five of the nine children went missing, and despite extensive searches, no remains were ever found. Was it a tragic accident or something more sinister? Theories range from kidnapping to mafia involvement. The Sodder family received strange phone calls and witnessed unusual behavior in the days leading up to the fire. At number three, we have the Hinterkaifeck murders. In 1922, on a remote farm in Germany, six members of the Gruber family were brutally murdered with a mattock. The killer lived in the house for days after the murders, eating their food and tending to the livestock. Despite numerous investigations, the case remains unsolved. The Gruber family reported hearing footsteps in the attic and finding strange newspapers on their property. Taking the number two spot is a heart-wrenching mystery that still haunts Australia, the disappearance of the Beaumont children. In 1966, three young siblings, Jane, Arna, and Grant, vanished from an Adelaide beach, sparking one of the largest police investigations in Australian history. Despite numerous leads and suspects, the children were never found, and the case remains unsolved. The Beaumont children were last seen playing with a tall, blonde man at Glenelg Beach, but they were never seen again. The case gripped the nation, leading to widespread fear and speculation. Theories range from abduction by a stranger to involvement by a family member, but the truth remains elusive. And now the moment that you have all been waiting for, our number one terrifying mystery. Possibly they were ordered out of the car by the responsible and the boy was shot right at the side of the car and the girl apparently tried to run and she was shot and found 28 feet further on. There was one bullet hole that penetrated one of the windows of the car. Uh, was this a, a stray bullet or was this one of the bullets that uh, hit the victim and went on through? This could be a, a stray bullet or uh, a warning bullet of some sort. It, uh, we can't connect it with the bodies, but it's the same type of shell. Just imagine getting a letter from a killer who taunts the police and the public, knowing he's still out there somewhere. The Zodiac Killer's cryptic messages and unsolved ciphers have kept amateur sleuths busy for decades. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the Zodiac terrorized Northern California, sending cryptic letters and ciphers to the press. Despite numerous suspects and investigations, the Zodiac Killer was never caught, and his identity remains unknown. And there you have the top five, terrifying real-life mysteries guaranteed to keep you up all night. For more like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and remember, 
stay spooky.